guys, Dwayne from Fire Bros Garage. If you've been watching our other videos, you'd know that we've been uh, doing this Brian Tooley Racing upgrade kit to this 2014 Chevy Caprice uh, Police Pursuit vehicle motor that we pulled out. And part of the DOD system or the delete system that we're gonna be doing is a valley cover that goes across here. And it's probably one of the simplest ways to do it. But before we get into that, I wanted to kind of show you the DOD system and how it worked, uh, just the kind of down and dirty on it. The way that it worked, um, or the reason behind it was, GM wanted you to get some better fuel economy and less emissions. Well, the way they did that is if you had a V8, they cut uh, four of the cylinders out and, and it was only under light to no load on the system, just cruising down the highway on a flat, flat highway, no hills. Um, but as soon as you put your foot back in it, you could, it would go back to eight cylinders. And you could see that on the dash. Sometimes there was a dash indicator that showed a four cylinder mode, that kind of thing. But the way they did that was it ran normally under eight cylinders and they would, uh, cut eight or cut four of those cylinders out by these solenoids for the displacement on demand. And this valley, this, uh, valley uh, lifter management system that's on here is that these passages here are open that looks like veins are open and these are oil passages to these cylinders so the computer would sense that it was not under load or light load and it would send notification to these uh, solenoids and it would cut the oiling and allow the pressure to back off these oil, off those lifters and allow it to go to four cylinder um the way those, what those lifters looked like, and the way to, to uh, show you, let's see if I can put this back without making a mess. The way that these lifters look is like this. They got a spring on top, and they snap into your lifter guide uh, buckets, and on those cylinders, and it's cylinders one, seven, four, and six, would get these style lifters. This spring here basically is what kept tension while the cylinder was cut and it kept the pit, this uh, uh, lifter from slapping around, banging on the top of the cam lobes, launching your push rod through the top of your valve cover. This spring is basically what kept everything in somewhat of a preload state so that when it did, you know, you didn't have chaos in your valley there. So this is the another one that's in the same motor, but it doesn't that's not a, a cylinder that was cut out. Obviously it snaps in there. It keeps the direction of the roller because obviously these don't roll any direction. They just back and forth and they're on top of the cam lobes. So um, that's kind of a, a down and dirty on that. But with the kit, you get GM part number uh, 125-98832. And it's an original GM part number. And what that is, is obviously you can hear the, obviously I like to say obviously, um, you can hear the bolts they give you rolling around in here. And the way they cut the oiling, or the way they cut or deleted the, the DOD part of it, is you get rid of this, you install this, you don't have to do any pop rivets or anything in here. Some guys still prefer to do it but each one of these now has a little O-ring on it and it has its own gasket. Um, it's got the uh, oil pressure switch or the oil pressure sensor bung in the back and you install it just like it is, torque it down and you're deleted. So that's probably one of the easiest and most efficient way to do that if you're gonna do a DOD delete on your LS. Um, don't have any more nuggets of wisdom other than the best thing you could do is to subscribe and like our page and continue to follow.